So besides playing a lot on record box USBs last year, I also started dabbling more seriously with Algorithm DJ Pro 5 for a few reasons. Number one being the stems. To my ears, they're probably one of the best sounding stems out of all the DJ softwares available right now. Number two would be the flexible beat grids that they added. Just a really great feature that makes it so much easier for DJs that are too lazy to adjust the beat grids themselves. And also how smart it is dealing with transitions and different fluctuations in tempo just shows how much effort they're putting into actual features that are really useful for DJs, whether they know it or not. But it's a new year. I want to start using DJ Pro 5 more often, but I have a few things that I really want them to add this year that it could probably make it one of my main DJ softwares that I'll use more often for gigs instead of Rekordbox or Serato. So first and foremost would be the addition of better documentation specifically for the pad modes. So if you use battle mixers like any of the Reigns or any of the Pioneer battle mixers or actually any of the controllers on the market that have the same pad layout, it can be kind of difficult to know which pad mode corresponds to what mode in Algorithm DJ Pro 5. Because the actual pieces of hardware aren't really made for algorithm a lot of the times, getting to the right pad mode is kind of like <laughs> hide and seek a little bit and just process of elimination when you're getting to it. So right here, I have my Rain 70. Of course, Hot Q works. Save loop works. I don't have any save loops for this track. Roll works. Sampler works. But for instance, on the Rain 70, the last pad mode is the transport controls, which don't work in uh, DJ Pro 5, but I really wouldn't want them there anyway. So I just have to guess that these are actually the controls for stems. And that's completely different on something like the S11 because it doesn't have this pad mode. And I would just have to learn that and remember it because there isn't a real way to find that information very quickly. And it can be really frustrating if you show up to a gig and you're not quite sure what hardware they have and now you're just spending the first couple songs trying to figure out what pad mode goes to what. Algorithm, please make a database that's easily accessible and findable for these pad modes along with all the other functions for all the hardware that you support. I promise so many DJs would be appreciative of it. And while we're on the topic of stems, the next thing I really want to see added in DJ Pro 5 is the ability to have stem effects on all four parts of the stems in the software. So here we have DJ Pro 5 and as you can see right here in this section, you can have stems for drums, bass, harmonics, and vocals, much like you can in Serato. But a feature that DJ Pro 5 has that Serato doesn't have is the ability to assign your effects to specific stems. So not only the deck, but I could assign it to the drums, the bass, or the vocal, which leaves out the harmonics, right? So if I want to affect the harmonics and the bass to just leave the drums and the vocals, I can't do that. And another thing I would want to add is the ability to add instrumental or acapella uh, effects so I can echo out the instrumental or echo out the acapella all in one go instead of having to use multiple effects to achieve that goal. And with all the effects that you have in DJ Pro 5 that sound great, I want to be able to use them for stems and get that little bit of extra creativity that I don't have in other DJ software. Now, after using Rekordbox a whole lot last year, more so than I have ever in my DJ career, my number one thing that I love about Rekordbox is the library management. Now, while the library management in DJ Pro 5 is pretty similar to Serato, I'd want to see it more like the library management in Rekordbox, where you can edit all of the tags in one small window, and more importantly, so you can have a quick tagging system with checkboxes like you have in Rekordbox. I use that all the time. It really helps with smart playlists or smart crates. It just makes life organizing music so much better. And it's probably the reason why I do all my organizing in there is because there's so many tools that I find so useful. And while I have used DJ Pro 5 at a few gigs, that's usually a Pioneer S11 or S7 with CDJs, DJ Pro 5 does allow for HID control, but the HID control just isn't there in my opinion. 
there's a little lag when you're pushing and pulling to a pitch bend on the actual deck. And that can be really frustrating and can take some time to get used to while you're playing. It's nowhere near as responsive as you find in something like Record Box or Serato DJ when using HID. And I really would use uh, DJ Pro 5 at gigs more often if that HID control was just as tight as Serato or Record Box because it just, that little delay just makes it me not want to use it at all where I have Serato installed on my computer. I could just fire that up instead. Even if the stems sound better in algorithm, the fact that the responsiveness isn't there in HID makes me want to choose another software instead, at least when using HID mode on CDJs. And that brings me to my last point. One of the coolest things about DJ Pro 5 is the fact that there's a mobile app so I could just plug my phone in to a setup and play off of my phone. We've seen people like Laidback Luke really kind of champion this and I've done it here and there just kind of messing around but I haven't done it at gigs for one simple reason and that's the fact that there is currently no way to get HID working on mobile. Now I know I just mentioned that their HID control isn't as tight as it is in Serato but if I didn't have to show up to the gig with a laptop instead of plugging in a USB stick, if I could just plug in my phone and get the same kind of library and I get stems as well, I could forgive HID being a little bit laggy, but that's just currently not an option. Now there's kind of a workaround with the Pioneer S11 where you can assign the DVS inputs to CDJ and just run timecode. Then you don't get the functionality on the CDJs, but you have the mixer anyway, so that's kind of cool. And you can do that on mobile, but I'd rather just show up to a gig plug and play, hit the buttons on the CDJs, switch them to HID, and now I'm ready to go with just my phone plugged in. I would really consider not bringing USB sticks anymore if I had all that functionality that DJ Pro 5 has on top of the fact that this is all I have to bring to the DJ gig and I'm you know, 99% sure I'm gonna have my phone anyway. Well, that's the end of my rant, I guess, or wish list, I should say, for DJ Pro 5. It's a great piece of software. If algorithm adds these things, I know I'll be using this software way more than I already do. And I'm sure that if you've been thinking about dabbling with DJ Pro 5, you should definitely give it a try if you haven't already. And if you already use DJ Pro 5, I'm curious, what features do you want to see in DJ Pro 5? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, please be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you're looking for more DJ related content, be sure to click on one of the videos right here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.